Now, Jim, can I just thank a couple of people off the top oh, if you oh, want to? Yeah, I just feel it's important to identify a couple of people because Me? I was crook last yes. week. Mm-hmm. I was very crook. Well, I heard you just and pulled the pin halfway through the show. <laughs> well, I, prob- up, I, prob- I, do his All right, I probably you. could have, given how bad your mob were, Jim, yeah. because it <laughs> really didn't become important yeah. in the second half. Mm-hmm. But the uh, but <laughs> Snorkel sent me home because mm-hmm. the voice was failing, yeah. and I then no, didn't... Uh, think, mm-hmm. Then didn't... <laughs> Work on the weekend, and uh, oh, because my voice was gone. Oh, see, chief. And oh, I wanted to uh, thank the wolf All right, because right. he battled on oh, on his own. Thank you. As we do. Yep. As long as we see an effort from each other, we know that it's legitimate. Back row. Yeah, back, back row. row is staunch. The other bug I wanted to thank. We have got uh, no no doubt he's going to be the next media superstar. He's Dr. Rowan White. Mm-hmm. Mm. So he follows up the next day just to see how I'm feeling. And then on the Sunday, I told him I'm starting to cough up a bit of green stuff. Yes. Oh, so he says, right, you need some antibiotics. I said, well, tell me when and where you'll be, and I'll come and get the prescription. I reckon an hour later, I get a text from him saying, just drop stuff off at the concierge. Um, let me know how it goes. You don't deserve that treatment, Mate, he drops off a bucket of vitamin Cs, <laughs> a box of prescription pills, a box of Sudafeds, just, a box of Panadol, a nasal legal, spray. Legal yeah, it, is, it is. Right. Then he sends another text. Now... I want you to take 10 of the vitamin C a day, use the Panadol and nasal spray every three to four hours. They're powerful antibiotics, one morning, one at night, and tell me how you feel tomorrow. So I told him, and I was really crooked for a couple of days, and he said, you'll probably come good Wednesday. Hit Wednesday, turn the corner like that. It's a long that. story. The man's man. a freak. <laughs> the man is a freak, but he deserves recognition. And what's become very apparent to me mm-hmm. is the close-knit group that the boundary riders and the back yes. row here in the Triple well, M box have. I get home have. visits from uh, the doc as well. Correct. Yeah. I mean, we can't speak any sort of volumes for the blokes down the front. Oh, I couldn't give a stuff about you, Chief. And when I heard that you'd left halfway through, Gravely I thought Ill. it really summed you up. Gravely ill. That's what I thought, Made Chief. iller by your performance. When I heard your about it, I thought rubbish, that actually Jim. sums Chief up. Jim, your uh, mob were rubbish. And I, maybe it's the Oxford leather in the Jaguar that's permeated through your skin. Listen to this. And caused these issues with your health, Chief. That's all I can think Chief, of. Chief, you've been recognised around town now in your big limo. The now limo. The What's wrong with you? Hang on a minute. You drive what? You drive an Audi? No, I do not. What do you drive now? I drive a Jeep, Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, AHG. Right. You were driving an Audi. My very word, I was. Correct. Jim, you uh, oh, M5, yeah, an M5? Mazda, Mazda CX-9. An M5, bre- <laughs> a brand new Beamer M5. Chief. I'm not talking about your sponsored car, Jim. Chief, the, I've got don't the keys in here, Chief. We're not, we're not apologising for it, Chief. What does that what, look what's like, Chief? What's your point? Hey, what is your point? Jim's filthy that Mazda actually sponsored North You've Mountain. just well, known. Oh, that's oh, been a magnificent that's company, been and they do I've heard a lot of people around town have seen you in the mint green. The difference between you blokes and me is that I pay for mine. The silver Jaguar limousine. Don't apologise for it, Chief. That's a bald-faced lie. You've Moved. Don't lie to our audience. That's hundred percent correct. You've paid for this car. Absolutely. You have not. A mate of mine was mates with a bloke at ULR in Moulden. Yes. He do Jaguar and Range Rover. I went and saw in. him, did me a brilliant deal, Slip and I paid in. for it. I genuinely right. paid for it. I bought it. Nose. Get I bought it on the phone. <laughs> well, there's five like minutes like gone. Like no, Chief's like like Chief apologising <laughs> and then uh, talking about his car. <laughs> hey, um, you keep bringing it up. I like it, Chief. I like it. I'm not sure you look comfortable in it, but I like it. Um, 